Oh, hi folks, how's it going? It's James here, welcome to another video. This is going to be a contest entry for David Newton, uh, who's a great guy on the vinyl community. He makes records, uh, he makes videos about records, but he also does uh, films as well, horror films. Check him out if you haven't already, I shall put the link down below. Uh, David wants us to talk about records or songs that have either been ruined or not been ruined through overexposure on the radio. And um, <clears throat> I thought this was quite an interesting idea. I must admit I don't really listen to the radio anymore. I used to. Um, years ago I used to listen to it a lot. I don't so much anymore. I occasionally will listen <clears throat> when I'm on the road and I'm driving and um, so I've managed to pull some ideas together. But I'm also going back into my sort of personal history and just, you know, remembering the, de uh, the days of MTV and just things on jukeboxes. Back in my college days there were jukeboxes where you'd hear the same songs going round and around and in clubs as well, you know, in nightclubs. So um, yeah, I pulled together 10 songs. So there are five songs which um, I hear too much and um, which and that has sort of ruined the songs for me. And then there's five songs which even though I've heard them over and over again, they never seem to grow old. Uh, and uh, it's very difficult to know what it is about a particular song which makes it sort of get tired and stale, whereas other songs don't. Um, so yeah, it, it's a strange thing. It's a good topic. Uh, it was quite good fun trying to come up with these. So <clears throat> let's just go through them. So the first five, like I said, these are songs which I think that, that they're overplayed and because of that I, um, you know, I, I'm a bit weary of them. The first one uh, is The Clash and Should I Stay or Should I Go, uh, which is a great song. It's an earworm song. Having said that, I think, you know, The Clash, uh, there's lots of other songs better than it by The Clash. And uh, that one is played a lot uh, on daytime radio in the UK and... Um, I think I've just heard it once too often, really, you know. <clears throat> right, the second one is a song uh, by a songwriter whose records I've never bought, and it's the only song of his that I actually know. And the song is um, Werewolves of London by Warren Zeffen. And the first time I heard that song on the radio, I didn't mind it, I thought it was okay. I didn't love it, but I thought it was all right. But honestly, it, it just gets played to death. Gets played on Radio 2 a lot on a show called the, the Jeremy Vine Show, which is actually a news program. Uh, it's a sort of news and current affairs program with a phone in thing going on. But he plays records every 10 minutes, and he must be a fan of that song because he plays it at least once a week. And um, I just hear it so often. And the song is a little bit annoying, it's got this kind of werewolf sound effect in it I mean you know you'll know the song and uh, it just gets a bit old after a while and uh, I'd like to check out more of Warren Zeffern's work I find it hard to understand why there's only one song which is ever played by him on the radio it's that classic thing you think this guy's got this huge body of work why is it that they can only find one song to play and uh, I suspect it's his most annoying song you know but I don't know I've not heard any of the others <clears throat> so anyway uh, number three I'm going to go with Common People by Pulp which is a great song, but I think I just heard it too many times back in the 90s. They were just all over the radio. Um, it's still played a lot, I think, you know, now on the radio. I hear it. I just, I don't know, there's something about the song which gets a bit old, really, I think. it's. Um, it was a song which had its time, it had its place. Uh, it's still relevant. It's still, you know, I mean, the... the lyrics of the song are still interesting, they are still relevant, but I think I've just heard it too, too often, really. Uh, now the final two are interesting ones because they're songs I do genuinely really like and I would still listen to them at home. I would still play the record, I'd still play the CD, but I'm a bit tired of having of, of being clanged over the head by them on the radio. The first one is Baker Street by Jerry Rafferty, which just is an absolute perennial. It's just always wheeled out. If you listen to Radio 2 in the UK, you'll hear it at least, I don't know, once or twice a week on the radio. And the problem with Baker Street is that it's such an epic song, you know, it's got such a kind of widescreen kind of thing going on, you know, the lyrics and the saxophone, it's very involved. It's just one of those songs that you don't you don't need to hear it over and over again like that. Uh, you know, save it for a special occasion. <clears throat> And the fifth one, it almost pains me to say it, because, I mean, this is one of my favourite songs of all time, but Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick by Ian Dewey and the Blockheads again gets played far too often, I think, on the radio in the UK. Uh, and again, it's just, it's a, it's a great tune for playing at night. It's a sort of nighttime song, you know, have a few drinks, have a listen to it. But they just play it all the time in the morning. You know, who really wants to listen to Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick at 10 o'clock on a Monday morning? I don't. Um, but it seems to be, again, a bit like with the... Um, 
the Warren Zeffron one, it seems to be like that was his only song. That seems to be the only one that ever gets played on the radio. And he was a great songwriter. He had loads of good uh, tracks. So why they've sort of become obsessed with that one, I don't know. Anyway, that's my five. F uh, five songs which I'm, I'm a bit tired of, really. So the other five, five songs which I'm not tired of, uh, despite having heard them many, many times. So the first one is Honky Tonk Women by The Stones. Uh, which I used to pour money into jukeboxes back in the day to listen to that. Um, it's just a great feel-good song. I don't care what time of day it is. Always happy to hear it. Just never gets tired. Uh, Changes by David Bowie. Again, you know, that gets played a lot on the Jeremy Vine show because he is a fan of uh, David Bowie and he, you know, he plays that song all the time. But it's just one of those songs. It's such a good great classic song I never find myself kind of going oh god it changes again you know kind of always happy to hear it uh, the third one is Night Fever by the Bee Gees which again you'd think that would be one that was best saved for a kind of nighttime thing but I don't know the groove is just so irresistible and it's just a good song for doing the washing up to I'm quite happy to hear it any time of the day really I don't know why Baker Street should be something which I, I only want to hear once in a while whereas Night Fever always happy to hear it um, the next one is interesting because I've never actually owned the record and I've heard it a thousand times and I never get tired of it and that is the song We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel and again that was a big jukebox song for me back in the day um, it's just a really inventive song it's got great atmosphere I'm not, a, I'm not really a fan of Billy Joel but I'm just always happy to hear it it always kind of puts a spring in my step somehow okay and the final one uh, this one I actually heard this being played in the garden the other day uh, our neighbours here were playing it I think they were having a barbecue outside and they were playing some sort of ATCD, I think. And this song came up. This is Another Day in Paradise Bill, uh, by Phil Collins. This song was actually hated back in the day by lots of people. Uh, but I always liked it and uh, I've heard it a, a trillion times. This is a CD single of it, which I used to play uh, back when I was a student. It's one of those great little singles, you know, um, CD singles. And uh, I don't know what it is. I just, I like the song. It comes on the radio. Uh, and I'm always happy to hear it, so can't even explain why, really. These things are so subjective. So, there we go. Five songs I am sick of, five songs but I'm not sick of. Thanks, David. Great idea for a contest. Do sub to David. He's trying to get to 300 subscribers, uh, which I think is the overall point of this contest, I think. Uh, like I said, he's, he's, he's got a great channel, music and film, horror films, uh, so I'll put the link down below and you can go and check him out and subscribe. Okay, folks, take care. I shall see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.